Yo guys, this is gonna be my first video. I'm just gonna do a little quick review of Double A spray paint. Uh, I don't think there's any other reviews on YouTube, so I'm just gonna check out how it is. I've never actually sprayed this before. Uh, it's pretty vague in the description. European quality, best performance. It's actually from Montreal, Canada, so I'm gonna check out how this works. I'm gonna compare it to a Montana Black, which I believe is based out of Germany. 100% sure. Uh, they all do come stock with these orange dot black caps right here. Forget that I dropped all that shit. Also got a Astro Fat, Boston Fat, and a uh, little itty bitty New York Fat. So we're gonna test it out. So you can see this wall is full of toy shit because I am a toy. I probably shouldn't have cursed, but it doesn't matter because. Not worried about getting demonetized, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna check that out right now. So I noticed with this chrome can, it's a little hard to actually initially get the cap on, even after you kind of twist it a bit, it doesn't stand still. But uh, with the blue can, you know, just twist it a bit and it's on. Same thing with the yellow can, so well, actually the yellow can kind of gives me a bit of an issue too. But uh, not as bad as the chrome can, so I'm assuming the valves probably aren't all the exact same. So that might be a quality control issue. Might just be tough luck. And with uh, Montana Black, of course, same thing, just kind of twist it on. It's already on. A little crooked, but, you know, you twist it on in place eventually. So uh, we're just going to test out real quick this blue can right here. And we're going to compare it this gray Montana black. So like I said, it's very vague. I have no idea. This is acrylic paint, oil-based paint, high output, low output. I'm 100% sure. So that's why I'm doing this little comparison. But other than that, I'm just going to basically check out how the colors work. And a good way to test the quality of paint is always going to be go for the yellow. If it can eat up a darker color like this blue, then it's usually pretty high pigmented, pretty high quality. And uh, yeah, so right now we're just gonna do a couple of spray tests and I'm gonna do a quick throwy. And we'll see uh, where things go from there. So we're gonna shake these bad boys up. I love the sound of that. I might make an ASMR video when it comes to spray paint. I'm not quite sure yet. So we're gonna do a little bit of a safety first thing. Care about your lungs. You should really care about your lungs. Man. So we're gonna go with the double uh, A true blue first. Let's see how it springs. So as you can see, it's pretty similar. Uh, maybe I can take this off. So you can see it's actually pretty similar output in terms of pressure. The consistency is a little bit different. So uh, it does seem comparable actually. So. It doesn't smell acrylic, so I think it's actually oil-based, so it's actually pretty interesting. And now I'm going to do a quick throwy, just to kind of check out the opaqueness of this blue, and also to see how that yellow goes over it. I'm going to go to use the New York Fat Cap. It's like the perfect outline. Yeah. So this thing's a little difficult to actually click on, but once you get it down, it should work well. So we're gonna go quick blue fill in, little outline, simple paint test. Uh, let's go over this toy shit. Put some more toy shit.
Well, I gotta admit that I put that output is crazy. You know, I said safety first. I literally forgot to put on my mask, but uh, I'll probably die before cancer gets me anyway, so it's whatever. So the thing about this wall, it's a little inclined, like at a, I don't know, 20 degree angle or something. Don't quote me, I failed math a lot of times, so um, yeah. But just looking at this paint, it's definitely high output. Part of it's the fact that I have an astral cap on it, but even so, it's pretty nice. So now to see if this paint is actually gonna go bombing with. You don't have time for the paint to dry. You're on the street. <laughs> Gotta be in and out real quick. Doesn't seem bad so far. I mean, it's toy, but in terms of the paint going over the blue pretty fast, uh, you can kind of see the blue starting to soak into the yellow a bit, not by that much. So overall, you can definitely get a fill off of this. It's gonna look a little dusty, but this isn't bad at all. Shading. It is a bit opaque, like most yellows, but it's not horrible, give it that much. So, uh, it's pretty much a review on AA spray paint. Uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, I wouldn't say anything too special, but it's definitely something that's usually workable. Like I said, I'm a toy, so I'm not necessarily an expert, but it's something to work with.